Hi, my name is Tina Conrad and I'm here to show you how to fix and enhance an underexposed picture in Photoshop. I'm going to go ahead and open the application. Once it has loaded, I'm going to click File, Open, and look for the file that I want to edit. Because this picture was shot in RAW, it automatically opened in the Adobe Camera Raw plugin. This plugin lets you import RAW images to Adobe Photoshop. What I usually do is start with the camera calibration. And then change the camera profile to landscape. Because I want the background to have a much more colorful tone. Next, I'll go to the basic tab. Change the white balance. I'll pick the daylight option for this picture. And then adjust the exposure, shadows, highlights, whites, vibrance, and temperature appropriate for the picture. After this, I'm going to click Open Image to smoothen her skin in Adobe Photoshop. Once inside the application, I'll choose the Spot Healing Brush tool Then, I'm going to duplicate the background layer. I'll double click the duplicate layer and rename it to Enhance because this is where I'll be smoothing her skin. Then, I'm going to use the Spot Healing Brush tool to smoothen her skin. I'll continue doing this until I'm satisfied with the result. Now, I also want to remove the lens flare on her skin. I'm going to duplicate the enhanced layer and rename it to Lens Flare Gone. I'll choose the patch tool inside the spot healing brush tool. I'll just select around the areas where the lens flare are visible and drag it to a smooth spot. I'll also use the spot healing brush tool to fix the smaller spots. I'm pretty happy with the result, so I'll just save a Photoshop file of my work so I can re-edit it later. I'm just going to save it on my desktop. And rename it Software Demo Image. I'll press Enter to save, then click OK. I will also save a JPEG file of my work. I'll click File, Save As, and choose JPEG on the pull down menu. Then click Save. I'll click OK to accept the default. Then I'm going to minimize the Adobe Photoshop application and open the images that I edited. Here's the before and here's the after. 